What's up guys, it's the Tech Playoffs and I'm back with another video. And right here we have the iPad OS 16. As you can see right off the bat, there is, let me try to get back to this where I was at. Oh, come on. A change to the lock screen. Uh, the major change that I can see now is just the font of the clock and the date and time. Uh, I don't see any options yet to customize the lock screen. I don't know if that's just an iOS thing and not an iPad OS thing. Um, but that's what I noticed right off the bat. This is the first unlock. And as you can see here, I had the fitness app uh, on the iPad. So I don't know if that was there before, but I didn't have, I don't have an Apple Watch compared to it now. So I don't think that was there before. That must be brand new. And as you can see, we have a weather app. If we pop it open, it opens in a small little window. And you, you can see here, you have the stage uh, app, I think is that if that's called correctly, center stage or stage app. This is the new multitasking for iPad OS 6. Um, it looks pretty cool. As you can see, it has resizable windows. So you can take this on the corner, drag it back and forth, and it will resize the window for you. On the left side, you do have other apps that were previously opened or open at the moment. So I can switch in between Twitter and you can see it swaps the weather for Twitter and drops the weather back into the uh, off the side multitasking page there. So pretty cool. Uh, I know you can also take apps and drag them. So if I wanted to do, uh, let's say Twitter and my messages, I should be able to drag it just like that. And then that works the way it is. So it works pretty good. Uh, see here we got anything special so nothing crazy but you can see you can skip between the apps here and you can have more than one open so if i wanted to take another one i know if you move these around they will automatically switch to give you a cleaner display so if i wanted to take another one i know you're supposed to do up to three or four uh this is the ipad air gen 5 so it has an m1 chip i'm trying to see if i can drag something over maybe i can't oh i can okay so there i have the weather i mean i'm sorry safari so i have safari i have twitter and i have the messages app that um works pretty good i see as you can see you have multitasking here if you tap behind it or out of the display it should take you back to your home screen from what i understand um uh, this is all new right now, so I just finished watching the update, and I'm trying to see if I can get back to this. And maybe swipe up? Okay, you can swipe up. Uh, so what if I, okay. So I guess you have to swipe up. On the Mac, they tapped on the back of the screen to close all the apps and bring you back to your home screen. Um, I'm guessing on this, you have to swipe up. Again, this is all new to me. If you swipe down from the control center here, <clears throat> this is the option you have to turn on to get that stage mode where it'll give you the floating windows. And if I open Twitter again, that window view pops back up. So like I said, you can drag these, move them around. You can switch back into apps on the side view. Um, pretty cool stuff. If I you know, hit an app on the bottom, that pops up into the main page and then it throws everything off to the side. So why is, I do have Apple Music. Why is it not showing me? Okay, so this is a beta. Not everything's gonna work properly. Uh, but so far, uh, pretty clean, pretty smooth. I mean, keep in mind, testing this out, you're going to have a lot of issues in terms of bugs, things not working properly, stuff like that. But um, so far, works pretty decent. You can see there, there's a hiccup where it didn't open up all the way. So just keep in mind, if you want to try this beta, it's not going to be perfect. It probably, it's probably going to be far from perfect. But if you want to try the new feature right off the bat, you can go ahead and try it. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get this weather view opened. I'm assuming I have to go in and close this stage mode and then try it again. So there you go. If you close it and try in the stage, if you close the stage mode, then you get a better view of, uh, I keep on using, change the toes allowed, change the toes allowed. Uh, okay. So this is the whole app view of the new weather app. You can change the different locations here. I'm assuming you can swipe them away if you don't want these. I do not want those. I don't care about Cupertino or New York. And then this is the full view 
of the weather app. Previously, you didn't have a weather app. You had a weather widget, which took you to the weather.com website and uh, gave you it gave you further details. But um, why is this not working properly? Let's see, it's not taking my subscription. I'll deal with that later. Uh, but as you can see, a lot of stuff was under the hood. A lot of improvements of like share play and uh, marking up notes, uh, stuff like that with FaceTime and documents. But this is to me, visually is the biggest difference is the stage. So again, like I said, if I open Safari, my Twitter, you can have multiple apps open. I'm trying to see if I can resize these, if it'll let me do it. Okay, so here it'll give you an indicator on the left or right side where to pull it. So you see if I open this one, it has the indicator here on the bottom. I can drag that, uh, open back that up, drag that down a little bit, move that over, pull this one in. So you see the indicators on the right side now, pull that in, and there you go, you have three things open right off the bat. So pretty cool. Um, so far, so good. I have to test it. Like I said, a lot of the improvements are under the hood. I feel like a lot of updates were for iOS other than iPadOS, but that's just a quick look at what you can expect uh, from the update so far visually from the iPad uh, OS 16. So I'm going to dig in more into it. And if you guys have any other uh, questions or concerns or something you want me to try out, uh, go ahead and hit me up down in the comment below. And if you don't mind helping me out and subscribe, that'll help me out a lot, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.